Hello, my name is Yost, and I'm going to show you how to make a nice intro graphic for your YouTube videos using Pixelmator on the Mac. Um, I've made one earlier today here for a Minecraft screencast that I made, and I'm going to replicate that in a new copy. So, we're on Pixelmator. First thing you want to want to do is hit a hit Command N to create a new document. And what I'm going to use is a 920 by 1080 resolution here, so I can create a high resolution 1080p quality graphic should I choose to make a 1080p video down the line. Hit OK for that. And you start out with a blank white default canvas. First thing we're going to do is create the gradient background effect. So hit Command 5 to get the gradients palette here at the bottom. I've already got the uh, radial gradient selected here, which goes from a nice orange to a, a red. Um, you can play around with the options later on, but uh, I like this effect here. Now all you do is hit G for gradients, and then start somewhere out here in the bottom left-hand corner, and simply drag all the way to the other side to get your effect uh, the way you want it, and let go. Boom, there you go. That was pretty easy. All right, now you want to add the Minecraft logo to the top of the screen. Now luckily, I found a really great high-resolution version of it here, and uh, it's already got transparency built in, so that's perfect. I'm going to link the actual file uh, to this in the bottom bar below. Now hit Control A to select and Control or Command A to select and Command uh, C to copy and paste that into your actual document. Now you can hit V to get into move mode and you can move it up a little bit here towards the top third of the graphic so that we can have room at the bottom for our title and our, our tagline. And if you hit Command Option single quote, you'll actually get a grid so you can use that grid to help you position it a little bit uh, horizontally if you want to center it nicely like this. All right, let's get rid of that. Next up, the tagline at the bottom. Now for that, we're going to go into text mode and also hit Command 5 to get rid of the gradients uh, tab at the bottom. And uh, in text mode, we are going to use um, the Creon font in about a 96 point size and black. And we're going to add our tagline here. Oops. And move it right around here. That was pretty easy. And now finally, the actual title of the individual video. Now, that's going to have two different effects applied onto it. One is a drop shadow effect, and the other is an outline stroke effect. We're going to start, as, a, as before, with the text mode, and we're going to pick the adventure font. That's the kind of Indiana Jones style of, uh, effect that you see on a lot, of, um, a lot of the Minecraft videos, if you've ever seen those online. For the font size, I'm going to pick about a 220 point resolution. Uh, size rather, and I'm going to use white as a background to start off with. And we're going to call this one Automated Wheat Farm. And position that a little bit, just like maybe so. Okay, now Command 2 gets you back your layer menu. There are two things you want to do here. First of all, you want to create a, uh, a pixel, a bitmap layer of this text layer. So um, you select Convert it to Pixels, and then you want to duplicate that layer because we want to apply each effect onto an individual layer, and Pixelmator will merge those two into one. So hit Duplicate, and for the top one, call it Drop Shadow, and you actually want to have that be the lower of those two layers. And we're going to apply the Drop Shadow first. Now for the Drop Shadow, I used a Quartz Composer plugin that I found online, which I'm also going to link to at the bottom. And that's actually really easy. Uh, all you have to do is make sure the layer is selected, and from your filter menu, under Quartz Composer, pick Drop Shadow. And you get a couple of options here. I'm going to use 15 as the radius, the horizontal offset, and the vertical offset. You can play around with that and see what works for you. Just hit OK. And here we go. We've already got our Drop Shadow effect applied. Now switch over to the original one again, the, uh, the top of those two text layers. And here we need to string up a couple of different um, commands to get the actual outline effect. It's not quite that easy in Pixelmator, but it's not too hard either. Starting with the Edit menu, you go to Select Color, and you pick the white from the actual font here. And for Radius, now this is really important, Radius has to be 1%. You want to get that nice, smooth, rounded effect later on down the line. You get that with that. 
hit OK. And then again from the edit menu hit load selection. I don't really know what that does, but it also is needed to get the effect uh, looking nicely. Finally, you can use edit stroke. Stroke will let you apply an outline to the selection that you've made. Now I'm going to pick black as our outline color here. And I like to use about a 5 pixel border here, and it should be the outside border. Leave the rest to the defaults, normal blending, opacity 100%, and hit OK. And there we go. Now if you uh, hit Command D to deselect, you can see that it looks pretty good. You can play around with the positioning of some of the elements here. And let's take a look at that in our full screen. Here we go. That looks pretty good. Alright, hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.